Welcome to QT Python Made Easy. This is the second video that we'll be discussing um, getting the code from the D GUI that we've designed before. Well, actually, for this session, we'll be designing a new GUI for the next coming videos. So uh, I'll be able to mix a lot of widgets inside and see how we can write a full full application. So we will start with opening uh, the designer on a main window. Uh, first thing that we we could do is uh, write our own media player. So um, basically, what we'll need is a phone video player. This video player uh, actually plays MP3s, audio, or videos. It's one thing, and I want uh, a space for my <coughs> playlist. This is my playlist. Um, make space for some buttons right here. I'll just add random songs. Uh, And once you just press OK, you have them here. When you run Control R, you can just select them from there. Uh, we can just add some uh, three buttons like uh, pause, a pop button, and play button. Play. Control C, Control V. Pause. Control V. Let's have a load. So let's say we want to load a, a directory at one time. So I'll just press load and it loads a directory. Okay. Uh, we have our basic media player here. Uh, we just could add the stop button. Just load that. Control C, Control V. Stop. Okay. That's one thing. We'll put those inside the frame. about that one is move it will be just one object for you. Uh, something that you can build very fast in Qt is um, a browser. Oops. Just put it here. Let's say that's, that's your browser. And for the time being you can just come down to the URL and just type http www.synapse-labs just press enter and for instance uh, you want um, a line edit so a user can input his L see that's basically it so um, it just popped up after loading so well, I guess you know what we're gonna do here is like uh, I'll make the user input his URL here when I click this button, <coughs> the URL changes. Okay, this one changes. So it's basically that easy to build your own little web browser in Qt. Okay, um, let's say I want to um, to make <coughs> an MDI area. Uh, something about this is quite nice. Is inside this part I can create sub windows okay, and this sub window could have a push button okay and just could minimize it and just it to add another sub window and this one will have a, a plain text area so when I push this button something can pop up here or something or we'll, we'll just figure it out when we're writing something um, so you have this and uh, control R to test the application you have the load stop Pause. you can enter the URL thing is working surf and this is one button this is one sub window sorry and this is the second sub window which is something very good okay let's say I'll uh, just for fun I'll just add a dial here again and an LCD display oh, sorry I close this one um, small LCD number Let's say in the code we'll see uh, if this number hits uh, 10 or something or 20 when I rotate the dial, make it write a message somewhere. 
I'm just uh, thinking of random stuff that I can show you uh, what to do with this. See? Another thing is the docked widget. It's, it, come, it becomes quite useful. I can uh, have it in your application. Um, just for tidiness, you can do um, a horizontal grid or a horizontal layout. For instance, oh, I want to lay out this thing inside here. It automatically adjusts that. So I'll just say I'll put that as is. Where am I? Okay, just move it a bit to the left. Here. And let's say I'll, I'll use the dock widget here, for instance. This becomes useful when. Um, I mean, let's say I want to add something that that will actually pop out when you move. just for demos. I'll just put a push in here. Control. R. This is the dock. I can just press it and it just pops out. I can move it anywhere I want. It's quite neat, actually. Um, uh, for instance, we could do um, an auth authentication area. Uh, line edit. We'll be describing in a second how to use resources because she we did not mention it in the last video. So, the name. Control C, Control V. Oops. That's the username the password area. Just put a small push button here, just so, so when we when, when it authenticates, it will show in the plain text area. So basically, when you push button here, uh, if the authentication is uh, true, we'll just come up with a success or fail message. Okay, resources. Uh, this will work on basically anything actually, but I'm just going to do it with a label just so you can see what happens. Okay. <coughs> We're going to add a resource to our. Start with a new resource file. We have to. Uh, put it in a directory. So we're just going to put it in the e directory under Qt. We'll name it app1. Save. we we'll add a new path. I'll call it whatever. I'll call it also app1. Add some files to it. I have on the desktop there or inside D drive. Oops. IT logo. Okay, and there it is. I want to assign it here. So, what I'll do is go to the style sheets and I'll type to add a resource as a background image from this path, from this resource in Qt Python. Okay, okay. That's, that's how you load an image inside or as a background. There's one thing that you have to take care of that you'll find it tiled. Uh, how do you fix that? So, it's background <coughs> dash repeat. No, repeat. Okay, and it doesn't repeat. You remove your text table from here, and then you have the image. So I think um, that covers it actually. Uh, 
I think we're, we're somehow s satisfied with the, the amounts of stuff inside here. So I think it will teach you also a lot of stuff uh, in QT. Okay. So we're going to end this by saving the, the, the designer. Or Okay. Let's come here. Um, let's add a menu also. File. Type here. Open. Uh, separator. Exit. Um, edit. Copy. Paste. Select all. And cut. Okay. <coughs> Let's say, um, I want to start adding shortcuts. Let's say, oh, let's open, open. Press Control or O, or uh, Control Q. I'll open the file. So here, you'll see that you have a shortcut key. If I press Control Q, it will register here. So basically, it's done. So this one is Control and Q. Uh, f for the matter of adding these uh, menus, I'll add a um, plain text area. Just so I could write some text inside here. And I'll just use the edit to copy paste and uh, select and all that. Um, come to the main window and just give it um, its title to App 1. When we're finished with this, um, we'll start saving uh, your, your application to our directory here, E, Q, T, and we call it App 1. So, it is here, and the resources its resource file is here. Okay, how do we get the code of this? When you browse to Python's uh, directory, the site packages, Python Qt, you will find PyRC and PyUIC. Basically, you'll be using these two binaries to uh, convert the UI into Python code and convert the, the resource file into Python also. So what we'll do is browse to the directory here which is from the CMD uh, E C D Q T and call these because we already mentioned that it's in the path so uh, when I go for pi RCC4 it should come up with this okay that's uh, that's the resource and uh, we want the the UI UIC4 and there has to be a uh, UI file input. For the help, uh, what we'll be using is when you run the the the, the, the pi UIC4 on the um, UI, you won't need it to to have an execute function function. So it gives you a main function inside, so it calls the window, so the application actually executes. So what you do is um, inside the directory, you go pi UIC4 minus x for execute minus o is the output file I'll call it app1.py and I'll give it the the UI file which is app1.ui press enter magic happens the next step is doing the resource file so what I'll do is use the resource file give it an input which is app one dot uh, it's a resource, so I'll call it app1 underscore rc okay, dot py and give it the input of the the the, 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 the other file, which is app1 dot qrc enter, and it happens what happens in when I do app1 dot py is oh, one thing that we have to edit here, sorry is 
I named it as app underscore RCS so you have to come into the code and add that somewhere below here so app one dot RCS just change that from there and run the code and it shows so basically we've written the application already so uh, we said this is the dot thing you have the file exit and all that um, this is basically it. The code looks like this actually after it's um, converted to Python. It's the main window. This is all the object widgets inside. You can see the geometry here of each one. Um, for, for reasons I will show you um, why I left these unchanged. Just uh, for the beginning, uh, for the for the for your when you start, uh, I'll show you just how when you look at it, where is button 4, so it will go to button 4 and when you click on it, it will show here on, on the screen, so you, which actually actually one are you looking for so it makes it a bit easier, I'll just show you how to link the, the UI inside just to go back and forwards and just know uh, your way through the application uh, when it becomes just quite big okay, this is it, I'll be pasting the code and the, the um, resource file on the internet uh, on an, uh, qtpython.com and I uh, hope uh, you wait for the next bit video when we actually dive into this code and make the application come to life thank you so much